the complaint about uh, the middle class dwindling is just, to me, it's not a, an accurate argument consistent with the data. If you look at prime age uh, adults and look at the entire distribution of prime age adults, that's between 25 and 60 years old, between 1997 and 2008, the I'm, 1979 and 2008, uh, you will see that in the middle of the distribution, there was a fairly substantial decline of 12%, hence the middle class is declining. Now, if we look at the upper end of the distribution, in this case defined as 105,000, you do this analysis a lot of different ways, it increased 12%. So everything below 105,000 went down and over 105,000 increased, uh, it, I said 12%, 12 percentage points, 100%. went from 13% uh, to uh, 26%, 27%. So there has been, I think, a fairly uh, somewhat equal distribution, at least in the sense that we're making a lot more people over 100,000 uh, and we're moving people gradually out of the bottom and the middle toward the top. So that seems like a fairly good uh, pattern. Uh, there's still people at the bottom, a lot of problems at the bottom. I hope we have a chance to talk about that today. Uh, so now, the last part of EJ's question is what should we do? First thing, uh, to step right into Bob's trap here, uh, you know, the only reason that we're dealing with the debt evidently has something to do with uh, the distribution of income in the country. We're dealing with the debt because we're going down the tubes if we don't, and everybody's going down the tubes. And I would point out the poor are a lot more reliant on government benefits than the middle class is and the upper class is. Uh, so the poor, if the government really hits, uh, has trouble, the poor are going uh, are gonna to hurt the worst. Uh, second thing is um, I think we should spend more money and this is going to be, I, I can see already looking at the house, it's going to be hard to, you know, invest at the same time that you're cutting the deficit because uh, there's going to be, we're going to cut with a sledgehammer, I'm afraid. But we need more kids to go to two and four year colleges. To me, that is probably the single most important thing. There are amazing data, we can get into this if you want to, about how much of a difference a four year co college education makes, even the kids from the bottom. Kids from the bottom, the bottom 20%, can increase their chances of making it all the way to the top by a factor of four, from 5% to 19%, if they have a four-year college degree. Now there's some selectivity and so forth, so it's not entirely accurate to say that, but that's what the actual data shows. And then third, again, to step into Bob's trap and give him plenty to talk about, there's just no way that we can be successful without increased personal responsibility. Americans are making a lot of fundamental mistakes. Bell and I did an analysis that shows, again, there's some selectivity issues, but if you graduate from high school, or even better, a two-year college or some post-high school training, but if you look at the people that graduate from high school and get a job and work full-time, get married and then have kids and do it in that order, the probability they'll live in poverty in a given year is about 2%. The probability they'll make the middle class uh, defined as over 50,000 is, is over 70%. 